Hi guys, good evening everyone. Uh, today's session is about active revision. I had told you in one of my previous classes that active revision is one of the best strategies for revising. So the first thing that you need to do is to uh, realize that revision is important as is an important part of your life while studying, while preparing for these exams. And the second thing is how to revise and there active revision comes in. So active revision will tell you, the art of active revision will tell you uh, how do you actually revise once you've already read something? How do you make sure that you remember majority of it, if not all of it? I will be telling you in detail about active revision in this session. If you've not downloaded the app already, please do so. It will make sure that you know a lot of uh, things about the upcoming examinations. You have all the information, past year papers, daily GK, current affairs, whatever is happening in the field of RDSAB and NABARD examination, you're all well aware about all those things, okay? A quick uh, word about the live classes. Uh, first of all, a word of caution before I tell you about the live classes. That these live classes for, are only for achievers. The students who I call achievers are the ones who are active and serious aspirants, who, are, uh, who believe in consistency and discipline. I don't want to teach everyone out there. I just want to reach out to students who are interested, consistent, disciplined, or are willing to inculcate all these qualities while preparing for their competitive examinations. If you feel that you can turn out uh, you know, for these live sessions regularly, if you feel and think that you can turn up for the out sessions, if you can ask me questions, if you can trouble me, then this uh, course, this live class course is for you, otherwise not. I want to reach out to students who feel and believe that they can clear the examination by recorded classes, because believe me, if there are a thousand students out there, then probably one of those can clear it through recorded classes, not everyone is made for those kind of classes. And therefore, the live classes for everyone out there, for all the three courses, RBA, SEBI and NABAD, I want all these students to create some kind of discipline, create some kind of routine, take this examination as win all, lose none approach, and then prepare for these examinations, okay? Uh, the timetable is in front of you. I have explained it a lot of times and I'm very, very certain, very sure that you must be aware about, about uh, how these classes are being conducted, about the quality of these classes. In my se kuch demos mein YouTube pe bhi dalta rahunga regularly so that uh, you are aware about and you know how do I, how do we as a team teach and prepare you for these classes. Okay, let us start with active revision. How, is, how exactly do you start with your active revision strategy? Karte kya hai, karna kya hai aapko? Number one, allocate daily time for revision as well as for studies. Now, this is for people who are students, who are not working simultaneously. If you're working simultaneously, then instead of daily, you can make it weekly, but not beyond that. Daily for people who, who are 24-7, uh, all-time students who are not working simultaneously, who are just preparing. And if you're working simultaneously, let's say in a bank, in a private company, in the IT sector, elsewhere, in the government department, then the maximum that you can do is make it weekly, okay? So one day every week, instead of <clears throat> studying 10 hours on that day, if it is a holiday, you revise for two hours, you revise for three hours. That is going to give you a lot more feedback, a lot more output than you can imagine. So this is something that you have to do, okay? Revision can be daily or weekly, as I said, but not beyond that. Learn the art of active revision. Now let's get into learning the art of active revision. I will give you two examples and through those two examples, both of us together will learn the art of active revision. Let's take the first example. It's my first aapko dekhne raoga. Somehow the colors have got faded, but I'll tell you, don't worry. The question is, what are the subsidiaries of RBI? The Reserve Bank has the following fully owned subsidiaries. Let's say, ye hum pad rahe. Ye maine apne short notes mein se ek snippet nikala hai. To mere short notes mein is tarah se wo diya hua hai. Let's say, humne bas dekha ki ye fully owned subsidiaries hain RBI ke. These are the fully owned subsidiaries of RBI. Number one, DICGC, Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation. Number two, 
भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक नोट मुद्रान प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नंबर थ्री रिजर्व बैंक इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नंबर फोर इंडियन फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अलाइट सर्विसेज एंड नंबर फाइव रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब अब मैंने ये पांच याद कर ली नाउ वेयर विल एंड हाउ विल एक्टिव रिविजन कम एन लेते आई हैव रेड हंड्रेड थिंग्स लाइक दिस इन वन एंटायर डे चालीस पचास पेज मैंने पढ़ लिए एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नो I, under active revision, I want to know whether I remember all of this is or not. So what I will do is I will grab a pen and paper, make notebook rough type रखूँगा जिसका objective ही होगा active revision का उसका नाम भी आप active revision रख सकते हैं and you write at the top let's say subsidiaries of RBI and on this paper you start writing whatever you can remember. You don't open your short notes, you just use your brain and try and remember and recall whatever you can about. सब्सिडियरीज ऑफ आर बी आई तो हाउ मेनी वर्ड है दे वो फाइव सब्सिडियरीज ऑफ आर बी आई मैंने डिवाइड किस तरह से किया इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प मी रिमेंबर एंड रिकॉल इट फास्टर इंश्योरेंस के लिए दे वॉज डी आई सी जी सी करेंसी के लिए दे वॉज बी आर बी एन एम पी एल इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी के लिए दे वॉज रिजर्व बैंक इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी के लिए दे वॉज इंडियन फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अलाइट सर्विसेज एंड इनोवेशन के लिए दे वॉज आर बी आई एच रिजर्व बैंक इनोवेशन हब ये पांच सब्सिडियरीज थी जो मुझे याद रखनी थी नाउ बिकॉज आई हैव डन एक्टिव रिविजन आई आई थिंक आपको अभी भी लग रहा होगा कि यार ये तो अब तो याद हो जाएगा ज्यादा क्योंकि मैंने खुद रिकॉल किया है इंस्टेड ऑफ रिकॉलिंग बाय रेफरिंग टू दैट नोट अगेन आई एम रिकॉलिंग इट ऑन माई ओन इसको बोलते हैं एक्टिव रिविजन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एक्टिव रिविजन आई होप इट्स मेकिंग सेंस प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ इट डजेंट इन दमेंट सेक्शन बिलो सो दैट आई कैन एक्सप्लेन टू यू फर्दर मैं आपको बता सकूँ और एग्जाम्पल्स के थ्रू exactly active revision karta kaise if you are not able to understand i did not refer to my old notes to my short notes instead i took a pen and paper and i decided that i'll revise it on my own using my own brain it is very tiring but it is very very fruitful let me tell you ek aur example utha lete hain it will be more clear in this example i have picked up components of wholesale price index wpi ke components uthaye hain okay Now there are three main components. There is manufactured products, 64 percent. There are primary products, 22 percent, and fuel and power, 13 percent. So primary 22, number one, then fuel and power 13, and then manufactured 64. ये मैंने याद रखे. Now there are a lot of items, but there are some main items जो हमें याद होने चाहिए, पता होने चाहिए as examples. ये again fade हो गया. Don't worry. This is manufactured products here. मैनुफैक्चर में मेन आर टेक्सटाइल्स केमिकल फूड प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर मैनुफैक्चर्ड प्रोसेस फूड प्रोडक्ट्स पेपर एंड पेपर प्रोडक्ट्स तो कोई भी ऐसा प्रोडक्ट जो मैनुफैक्चर्ड है क्रिएटेड है विच इज नॉट इन इट्स प्राइमरी फॉर्म जो कि प्रोसेस है दैट बिकम्स आर मैनुफैक्चर प्रोडक्ट एग्जाम्पल हमें कुछ याद होने चाहिए टेक्सटाइल केमिकल्स फूड प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर प्रोसेस पेपर एंड पेपर प्रोडक्ट्स प्राइमरी में क्या आएगा फूड आर्टिकल्स जो आप खाना खाते हो जब वो कच्चा आता है दैट इज और प्राइमरी नॉन फूड आर्टिकल जो भी कच्चा सामान होता है दैट मे नॉट बी फॉर ईटिंग मे बी फॉर एनीथिंग एल्स बट वो प्रोसेस नहीं किया गया है दैट इज ऑल प्राइमरी मिनरल्स क्रूड पेट्रोलियम मैच नेचुरल गैस नेचुरल गैस इन इट्स क्रूड फॉर्म क्रूड पेट्रोलियम इन इट्स क्रूड फॉर्म जो भी प्रोसेस नहीं किया गया है जमीन से निकाला है और we are growing it or we are finding it on earth as it is for example soil process nahi kiya gaya hai primary ho gaya if you are selling it so these are all primary articles and then you have fuel and power which is very specific isko process karne ke baad yahan dal dete hain hum log coal mineral oils electricity three main examples of fuel and power because it is not only fuel it also includes power which means electricity hame ye yaad ho gaya samajh aa gaya padh liya आप इसका एक्टिव रिवीजन करना जरूरी है अदरवाइज यू विल फॉरगेट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ इट अब एक्टिव रिवीजन पे आते हैं इसको रिमूव कर देते हैं रिमूव कर दिया नाउ वी पिक अप अ पेन एंड पेपर एंड वी स्टार्ट रिवाइजिंग अब हमने एक पेन एंड पेपर लिया और अब हम रिवाइज करेंगे देखेंगे कि कितना हमें याद है आप मेरे साथ भी ले सकते हो यू कैन ग्रैब अ पेन एंड पेपर एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट राइटिंग वट यू कैन रिमेंबर एंड देन टैली वेदर यू रिमेंबर मो और यू रिमेंबर लेस ओके सबसे पहले परसेंटेज प्राइमरी 22 फ्यूल एंड पावर 13 मैन्युफैक्चर्ड 64 एक बार ऐसे लिख लोगे ना जिंदगी में कभी नहीं बोलोगे दैट इज अ गारंटी 
उसके बाद आते हैं एग्जाम्पल्स पे प्राइमरी में क्या था फूड था मिनरल्स था क्रूड था नेचुरल गैस था जो भी अनप्रोसेस होता है फ्यूल एंड पावर कोल रिफाइंड ऑयल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी राइट मैन्युफैक्चर टेक्सटाइल केमिकल फूड प्रोडक्ट द प्रोसेस वंस दैट्स इट हमारा हो गया काम पूरा दिस इज हाउ यू यूज एक्टिव रिविजन टू लर्न मोर टू रिमेंबर मोर टू रिकॉल मोर आई होप इट मेक सेंस ओके Now let's talk about the usefulness of active revision. हम लोगों का thought process क्या होता है normally? We think more brain use. We think कि जितना brain को कम use करेंगे ज़्यादा heat up नहीं होने देंगे उतना फायदा है We'll be able to use it in the examination. Even if we don't think like this, we often act like this. This is how we do. This is how we act. Okay? As I can remember from three idiots. Uh, Rastogi, uh, no, I don't remember his name. This was Raju Rastogi. This was Farhan. And uh, Professor Saab बोलते थे इनके दिमाग को बेचेंगे तो बहुत पैसे मिलेंगे. क्यों मिलेंगे? Because these are unused brains. Okay, these have never been used, so they're very fresh. But the reality is not this. This is a sarcastic statement which tells you कि जितना ज़्यादा brain को use करोगे, उतना ज़्यादा आपका brain अच्छा होता जाएगा. So use it as much as possible. डोंट फ्राई एंड हार्ट की तरह नहीं है कि थोड़ी ही लिमिटेड है तो आप लंबी सांस लोगे तो कम बीट करेगा ऐसा नहीं है तो ब्रेन गोज अदरवाइज तो द मोर यू यूज इट द बेटर इट इज आपके ब्रेन के न्यूरॉन्स की क्वालिटी इंप्रूव होगी एंड एक्टिव रिविजन इज वन सच स्ट्रैटेजी विच मेक श्योर इट यूर एबल टू यूज योर ब्रेन बेटर देन अदर्स एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे इट्स कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन यू हैव टू हैव नॉलेज better than others and the best way i can tell you to do that is to read limited but to revise it more number of times using active revision you read a lot do not revise it at the end of the day you remember this much if you read this much revise it enough number of times use it active revision you don't only know this much probably you know this much now okay because you're revising it so you're connecting all these things you're making interconnections So you probably know a lot more. So the first student knew only this much, read this much. The second student read only this much, but knows this much. Okay, you don't have to know this much to clear the examination. You probably have to know only this much, and active re revision makes you do that. Okay. Last word of advice: ध्यान रखिएगा. Life, your studies, whatever you're preparing for is like a bull bullaya. So you have to make sure not to fall into the trap of Akshay Kumar. और अपनी लाइफ को सिंपल बनाएं एक्टिव रिवीजन के थ्रू ट्राई एंड रिमेंबर वट एवर यू रीड ट्राई एंड एबल टू रिकॉल वट एवर यू रीड सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू फेस समथिंग लाइक दिस यू डोंट फॉरगेट थिंग्स तो भूल भुलैया में ना फंसें ट्राई एंड सिंप्लीफाई योर लाइफ ट्राई एंड मेक इन मोर फ्रूटफुल ट्राई एंड बी मोर सक्सेसफुल फास्टर बाई डूइंग द राइट थिंग दैट इज एक्टिव रिविजन आई होप विद दिस सेशन आई एम एबल टू इंस्पायर यू टेल यू how to do active revision well if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to uh, reply to your doubts to tell you uh, to guide you how to actually prepare for the examination for the upcoming rbs ab and nabard examinations okay if you feel that you want that you can be consistent enough that you can be disciplined enough to enroll and to study with me in my live courses then you can give me a call at this number my counselors will talk at you if you want to talk with me also you can just ask them they will try and connect you to me you can also write to me at info at anujinder lotin and i will try and answer your queries there as well okay theek okay? hai so ye aap kar sakte hain if you feel that you are an achiever and not just an aspirant only then make sure that you reach out to me and help me guide you prepare you uh to help to clear the exam examination as fast as possible tell you all the best guys i'll see you very very soon with another such session another such learning opportunity for you till then bye bye take care jai hind